Really quick in the beginning of this video, I just wanted to say, well, really quick that I'm going to try streaming again. The last couple of times that I tried streaming Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Origins on YouTube, uh, stuff kept on crashing. It wouldn't let me stream at all. I would have I would have preferred streaming Assassin's Creed Origins for like the past couple of days, but I uh, just, just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. I'm going to try to tomorrow because I'm in the middle of trying to get the Platinum Trophy and basically 100%ing uh, the game now because I already beat the main campaign so you know can't really spoil anything really all too much uh, I only have really uh, like a handful of trophies I need to get and so I get the Platinum Trophy so I just wanted to point that out really quick at the beginning of the video anyways we're gonna go ahead and continue talking about Boruto episode 31 and overall episode was fine it was fine it was fun to watch but there were obviously moments in the episode that a lot of people can definitely agree upon of that it was kind of i don't know what's the word like stupid <laughs> like stupid because uh the episode starts off just immediately into the fight with Kagura and Borzo, right? They're both fighting, they're both fighting each other and stuff like that. It gets to a point before the intro uh, starts, uh, we get a shot of Kagura basically splitting Borzo in half. And I saw it and I was like, oh, well that, that although that looks awesome, and after watching the Boruto Naruto the movie in dub, it makes me, you know, appreciate this shot even more. But the thing is, is like they literally didn't need to do that. <laughs> they literally didn't need to do that because the show is called Boruto. Boruto is the main character. So the fact that they did this for really no apparent reason bothers me. Because I saw it and I was like, "Oh, they're really gonna do this? Like, they're they're really gonna do this for an an intro for an episode? That's uh, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't uh, I don't agree with this decision. But what the fuck am I supposed to do about it? I can't do anything about it. So after the intro, obviously the the episode continues on because the fucking Boruto that got cut in half was just a fucking shadow clone. It's just a shadow clone. More fighting happens. Kagura is being kind of whiny, bratty Kagura, kind of, like kind of how he always has been. Boruto's trying to do talk no jutsu. <laughs> Boruto's basically trying to do talk no jutsu this fucking whole episode. Uh, sorry, I think I just messed with the mic a little bit. I apologize. Boruto's trying to do talk no jutsu the whole fucking time. It's not working. Kagura's like, Kagura's like, no, I can't escape my past. <laughs> I am the grandson of Yagura, the fourth Mizukage, who was the main reason why the Mist Village was called the Blood Mist Village. I can't escape what I have become. And then, of course, Boruto had something in my mouth. Boruto, and then Boruto's just like, No! It doesn't matter. We're our own individual people. You know, we, we decide what we become in the future. You're stupid. And I'm like, Well, you're not wrong. But it's not like, In the end of the day, this is what he's gonna become. I forgot to mention this, but this is the finale of the arc. This is the final finale of the arc for, you know, th th this arc. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. This is the finale of the fucking arc. Um, you know, it's very predictable of what's going to happen. So after, like, the whole, like, fight with Boruto and Kagura happens, um, uh, Shizuma is, like, saying, like, oh, the reason why I'm doing this is because... I don't like how Chojuro and Mei. I don't like how Chojuro and Mei are doing all this like secretive 
BS like talking like ta he's talking about how they would go about in the village assassinating all these people who would potentially get in their way and they don't uh, and they don't want that happening obviously Cho Chojuro and Mei um, you know Chojuro being the, Mizu the current Mizukage he doesn't want he doesn't really want that I don't think most people would like that either Chizuma is going on on a fucking tangent saying I don't like how he does that I think that's immoral i think that's fucking retarded right I, i'm sorry for using that word <laughs> i think that's stupid you know and then mitsuki mitsuki shows up halfway through the fucking episode and he's like well that seems very hypocritical of you because i have this information saying that you have been doing the same exact thing because apparently he got information from uh, some guys from the land of water or some guys in conjunct in conjunction with the land of water I don't really remember uh, remember But he got information from some guys who were you know Associated with Chizuma who were from like the land of water or whatever uh, Saying that Chizuma has been you know assassinating and killing people from from the shadows from uh, and secretive, you know, and Mitsuki's basically calling him out on his BS saying, well, that's very hypocritical of you. If you want to create a world with just and, you know, a truthful future, whatever the fuck he says, then then how about I expose you for this shit or whatever. I don't really remember. And so, if the talk no jutsu BS that Boruto was doing the whole time, you know, didn't work, this this pretty much sealed the deal, but let's be honest, Boruto is like the master of talk no jutsu, so of course it's gonna fucking work. <laughs> so of course his talk no jutsu is gonna fucking work. And then, you know, all this information about Shizuma, you know, obviously, you know, kinda was like, Yeah, we I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be on your side anymore. Uh, but but I'm gonna go ahead and just be honest. Maybe Shizuma is the one who's actually you know a master of talk no jutsu. Because every single time fucking uh, Shizuma <laughs> shows his fucking scar, he's like, yeah, you did this to me. You're you're Yagura's grandson. Bullshit. And I'm like, is this really gonna happen again? Like, <laughs> is he really gonna fucking talk no jutsu him to go back on his side again? Yeah, he fucking works. It fucking works. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm being really loud for no apparent reason, even though it's like one o'clock in the morning now. But the episode continues on. Um, she's the one actually shows something really, really cool and something kind of hacks OP almost. Uh, basically, you know, she's a Hoshigaki. You know, basically what I'm gonna go ahead and call him like a the quote grandson or whatever of Kisame Hoshigahi, the former user of Samehara. He has Samehara as well, and what he does is, you know, the mist was already there, but what he decides to do is activate a jutsu that basically turns the mist into uh, a form of a blood mist. And so basically what would happen was is that Samehara would, you know, absorb the chakra through the blood mist, uh, from the wounds of people that are in the area. So Porto has a couple of wounds, Mitsuki has a couple of wounds as well, and the entire time Samahara is just absorbing the chakra from the both of them. Um, I thought it was really cool. I thought that was a really cool kind of like hack, kind of like a hacks ability for Samahara. I thought it was really cool. Uh, stuff happens, BS happens kind of, so it, it almost seems like Boruto for whatever reason like like let's be honest Shizuma is pretty much you know Jonin plus or at least like Chunin plus right he's really fucking strong compared to Boruto who isn't technically a Chunin yet nor is he anything close to a Genin uh, like at all because he's an academy student you know <laughs> that's what that's what it's supposed to be like he's an academy student but because this is fucking Boruto and what they've been doing with the Boruto characters the entire time, they decide to make him super hacked OP by basically, they make him almost solo cheese him up, you know. They, they, they basically just do that. So what happen, What happens is, is that Boruto creates Shadow Clones, 
he throws a paper bomb that causes a diversion, uh, and then he has uh, two shadow clones throw a shadow clone in the real and in the real Boruto. They they use a jutsu to basically push him uh, like super fast, right? And then the shadow clone gets right behind Boruto, uses a, the, the this exact same wind style jutsu to push him even faster towards Shizuma which causes him to you know obviously accelerate super fast and then he basically fucking one shots him in the gut with a really fast gentle fist that's really it he kind of fucking shoved him into a fucking boulder which didn't make any sense and then I was like did he really solo him like like if that if that if that's it that's like really cliche that's like really really cliche and I wish that they didn't do it like that and they didn't they kind of you know make him get up they make uh, they make him get up but he's limping so I'm just like oh so he, he is hurt <laughs> so he is hurt so it doesn't even fucking matter <sighs> I'm running out of breath I apologize so he gets up he's limping Yada yada yada, you know, he starts charging at Borto with this like, uh, like icicle, like water spear from like the, uh, the moisture and, uh, and the air from the mist. Uh, Kagura defends Borto, bullshit happens. Uh, Samaihara then decides to start eating Shizuma, that's what it looks like. He starts eating Shizuma, uh, that's what it looks like, and then all of a sudden it's like, no... What happened then is Samaihara, I guess, decided to merge with Shizuma. And so what happened after that is Shizuma kind of turned into like what Kisame's like shark fucking mode was, but not ex exactly. It's, it's really weird. So Samaihara, you know, basically takes control of Shizuma, and then Shizuma starts going fucking ballistic, he starts he starts going like berserk mode and shit, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, at least it kind of looks cool, you know, because he's like a human, like actual shark looking fucking thing, and then Chojuro shows up, and at that point I was like, oh, so they're just, they're just gonna have uh, Chojuro basically fucking dick on this guy, right? No. <laughs> Kagura is like, no, I can't change the past, but I want to help make our future better. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess this isn't bad either. But I would have rather, I would have rather had Chojuro basically dick on his asshole. No, Kagura just then decides to, you know, infuse chakra into his blade, which, uh, which name I still fucking can't remember. Uh, Kagura is like, oh, this takes up a lot of chakra, like, that bullshit, and so, Boruto, <laughs> Bor Boruto shows up, right, Boruto shows up, he's like, you don't have to do everything by yourself, and I'm like, they're not, they're not gonna have him do what I think they're gonna have him do, right? Yeah, so Boruto and Kagura start infusing uh, chakra into the blade. They, uh, you know, split it apart like it like it's normally able to do. So that's not surprising. Uh, so Boruto, I guess, immediately knows how to use one of the seven swords that belong to a seven swordsman of the mist, apparently. So. What, uh, what they then uh, make it do is that, you know, they charge it up with Chakra, obviously. Uh, they split it in half, they go after um, Shizuma, and then they basically slice apart Shizuma from Samaihara. They didn't kill Shizuma, they kind of just separated them apart. Which, uh, you know, was cool and all, I guess, but it almost kind of seems fucking ridiculous considering the fact that in it almost seems like immediately once Borto fucking touched the sword he immediately knew how to fucking use it which is kind of 
<laughs> it almost seems it almost makes him more OP than he already is. If it wasn't for the fact that he basically one shot someone who was stronger than him, this kind of like put icing on the cake. It just didn't make any sense. I wish that they didn't really do that in the episode, but they went ahead and did it. I guess I'm just gonna have to fucking live with it. So after that, Shizuma and Samehara get separated apart, and then Samehara fucking burps, which is hilarious, <laughs> you know. And so after that, stuff kind of just goes back to normal. Uh, Savarda and uh, Savarda and fuck, I can't remember the other guy's name for whatever reason. I I, I can't remember his name, but Savarda. Boruto, and then you know they, they all decided to start going back because that's what they need to do they needed to go back you know for for roll call and shit like that before time had reached and you know that BS so they start leaving the episode ends and I was like well at least it was enjoyable to watch you know and yeah pretty good animation uh, all the action scenes were actually pretty enjoyable to watch uh, that's the end of the arc. That's the end of the episode. And the next episode, that mm, there's a reason why I say this is the end. This is the end of the arc because uh, next episode we're gonna be going back to the Leaf Village. And the next, the next episode just seems like we're gonna be going back to like the whole slice of life BS that we've been that we've pretty much been watching this entire time. And so. The next episode is basically just going to, be going to consist of Borto getting his little sis a souvenir because he had promised her to get get her one and yada yada yada. It's whatever. the uh, ep The episode was enjoyable to watch. Maybe not the most like story driven, I guess you can say episode, but eh, it was it was still enjoyable to watch. You know, it was fun. Uh, I didn't really mind it all too much. Because if, you know, like I said, it was it was pretty it was pretty fun to watch. It's not that bad. Um, if I were to give it, give it a rating of like one through five, it would be like a three. You know, it could have been better, but it's still enjoyable to watch. So, anyways, I'm I'm rambling now. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here, and then uh, maybe go to bed. Maybe, maybe watch some uh, Full Metal Alchemist because I still need to finish that fucking series because I haven't done it yet. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And I'm going to remind you one more time that tomorrow uh, on on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, that I am going to uh, try to stream Assassin's Creed Origins again. I'm going to be going for the Platinum Trophy. I hope you guys uh, do watch the stream. Um, stuff like that. I hope you guys did, uh, do enjoy the stream whenever, uh, whenever and if I do stream or not but anyways uh that's the end of the video hope you guys are making everything blah, 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 blah. i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i'll see you guys in the next video peace